Tuesday it's our normal in visiting day. We buy all the food stuff. And then the three rows above. Is that enough? Three rows above is 30 centimeters. I go see Casa Banana. Verify their preparation at three. You'll meet Green uh, Nilbu and uh, OPMU. According to what I have said, I have studied during that time, I've said that the bricks will be too hot. So I've carried more than bricks that we have. Okay, so we have here. Our mission in Care for Life is to, to teach self reliance in all the people that we are working, all the community that we, where we are working now. You will have a truck here at 10 o'clock to pick us up. And uh, he and his men are heading over to Batwee. We have got 30 leaders in each community where we are working. All these leaders, their responsibility is to take information from Care for Life and pass it on to, to the families. Because we train the leaders and the leaders, they go to the to the families and also train them the same principles that we are teaching them. It was necessary for us to have some some people who have got the knowledge how to build uh, latrines using the local material. We are so happy to have this this team come and teach us this. And uh, we, I think the community is also very happy that we are now going to solve the problem that has been giving us headaches for a long time. I was so much impressed with the way that they are doing the job. Does anyone else have anything else we need to talk about before we go practice and get ready? Everything is well planned. Uh, we are being taught and we are understanding the way that they are teaching us the, the principles to build a good latrine. For the demonstration then, 150 might be okay. We can just do one call and show how yes. it works. Yeah. And then when he actually does it, he'll need to be They know what they are doing and they've got the knowledge of how to build these, these latrines. They have been putting 100% on everything that they have been doing. Everything that they have been doing is just excellent. Everyone was putting 100% effort. So now we are doing the project, now we are teaching the leaders and we are going to give them a time period of about three to four months so that they can do the blocks, the bricks and bend them and build the latrines. We're here today in our first village teaching the people. We already taught the Care for Life staff so they understand. So now we're here with the Care for Life staff and we're beginning to teach the villages, actually teaching the people here how to build the latrine. So we've got our four different stations. You see behind me the brick making station showing actually how to form the brick. And we have several different other stations, how to build the cover, how to line the hole. But we're getting Care for Life to do it, to make sure the workers here understand what they're doing and also that they can teach each other. This is our exit strategy, so we can get out of the picture and make sure Care for Life can do it all on their own. employees of Care for Life went around to the different villages under our supervision and taught the people. With the collaboration of the community and also with Care for Life, we are going, I think we are going to have a successful project on latrines in our communities.
I didn't realize how much success we, we would find as far as teaching it to care for life and um, how much they've embraced it as an organization. By the time we were at the last village on Friday, uh, Care for Life managed the whole teaching process of the whole FOSS Alterna uh, latrine design. The five stations, the introduction, the wrap-up, the uh, giving of the mold for the bricks, they did everything. We were all totally hands-off. No question in my mind, it was a, a huge success. We're just feeling as if we are all brothers and sisters. Reach in, in understanding. So being able to leave um, the last village where the staff members for Care for Life were teaching, and as we were driving away, feeling like, look, they can actually do this, was a great success. Everything really went as good as I could have hoped. That is an advantage for us, and it is a it is a blessing to the community. I think the project has gone much better than any of us expected. It wasn't just eight o'clock meetings and the capstone quizzes and all those things but it became something that we were all really invested in personally. These people are, are smart and ingenious, and just because they live in, in poverty doesn't mean that they aren't intelligent. To see the looks on the people's faces when they realize that they can make bricks themselves and they can make better latrines. To me, that's the most rewarding part. I'll get you a pregunta sobre this. I'm really glad that it isn't a handout to them. It's an opportunity for them to take what we've taught them and, and build for themselves. Seeing this project in Mozambique and seeing how sustainable it was just from the first day that we demonstrated it to the people, it was amazing. problems, the hurdles, the obstacles that we've encountered, which have been many, uh, the team has been able to work through. Something that we do as a school project can change somebody's life completely. that uh, it takes a lot less to be happy. How much good you can do when you put your mind to it, that we can really go out just as, as normal, normal people, normal students, we can go out and make a difference in, in people's lives. Being able to leave Mozambique, Africa now and having things uh, that I've seen change my life. Like a lot of people who go to Africa, I think I was touched and I really want to continue helping in the future. Sometimes it seems overwhelming to change the world, but I think the difference is you have to change it one person at a time. <laughs>